Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the summon feature in the Tesla Model 3, um, which it should be the same as the Model S. Um, we have a Model S too, and uh, I, ha I haven't um, set it up with the new software, but um, on the Model 3, I just did it earlier today, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so you first uh, call up the settings screen, and then um, you just go to autopilot right here and you see this summons you just turn that on and then you get this disclaimer you can go ahead and pause the video to read that anyway you just agree and that really that's you know you can actually start using it right from here except that it'd be good to customize it and so um, you can set up how tightly you want it to fit into the space our garage has really limited space so it has all the settings to customize for large spaces or tight spaces like our space so the first thing I'll do is this bumper clearance you notice here how the car gets closer and closer to and further and further away if you want I want it pretty tight so I'm gonna choose 12 inches uh, and that's just uh, as soon as it uh, senses a barrier at a foot away it'll stop um, even if you keep pressing the summons button, it'll stop anyway. Um, th this is the distance. This just tells you how far away from it uh, you can you can be, how far away from the car you can be uh, and activate summons. Um, let's see, side clearance. I probably want it tight. You see how this shrank? Here's standard. There's tight. Because again, we have, you know, as, as most typical garages, we have a bunch of stuff on the walls. I have another a pickup truck there and so it's pretty pretty tight um, require continuous press yes um, and my model s I I just choose no it goes in the garage on its own and senses the barrier and stops but in this case um, I didn't have this feature when I first set up summons this is a nice feature I think so um, I'm gonna do that and and the the um, the model 3 has I mean the model s has a key fob that the model 3 doesn't so it this acts reacts a little differently I've actually never used it um, with the app and so in the model 3 is the first time I've done that so I'll show you how that's done and let's see auto home link I'm gonna keep that off um, that's just it'll it'll trigger this is our garage door um, it'll just trigger the garage door um, as it's you know before it enters it gives it enough time to open then it'll, then it'll go in or if it's inside it'll trigger the door to open before it exits um, but I'm gonna choose off for, on that and that's it so let's see close that and it's it's ready to go and so now I'll get outside the car okay so it doesn't matter if the car is locked or unlocked um, the car will fold the mirrors in as soon as you activate summons this happens the mirrors are already folded in but even if they were not it'll fold in on its own I'm, I'm gonna hand over the phone to my wife so that here you go so that you can see the app here so I'm gonna launch the app and so you go to where it says summon right there and then it's gonna connect to the car. As soon as it connects, you'll know because down here, there you go, it populates this forward and reverse options. And so if I hit reverse, the car will just keep going in reverse until I release it. Um, so I'm gonna use forward and let's, let's come around this way so we can see the clearance in this side of the house. You see, it's pretty tight. So you wanna be with this, with the summon feature, you know, you're responsible uh, for anything that happens to the car. It's really not the summons features fault or Tesla's fault. So you got to supervise it anyway. Um, so this is where I'll probably stand here so I can look at that. I might go to the other side, make sure it's, if it looks like it's getting too far from here, make sure it's not getting close to my truck, but it won't. It's pretty good. And so anyway, so all you do is just hit forward and keep pressing on it. When you release it, the car will just stop right in its tracks. So let's go. Pretty good. We'll come on this side to check out this side. It's thinking. That's good. And 
I just want it to go far enough to clear the uh, garage door. So um, I'll just take a look here. And that's, it's gonna stop on its own anyway once it senses one foot of, and there it goes. It stopped on its own even though I have it pressed here. And it's pretty tight here. If I were driving it in, I can go in another three, four inches. I can reduce that setting uh, down to, I think eight inches was the lowest. So I can have it go in a little further. In the, the first time I did this, it actually did go in a little further, so I wonder if I left something out there that it's sensing as an obstruction. But anyway, so now I'll show you how to back it up out of here. And um, so I'll just hit the reverse button and keep it pressed and then move out of the way because it might sense me as an obstruction. But And like I said, always supervise the car. We have this uh, M3 parked here. I want to make sure it doesn't hit that. It's pretty smart, though. It'll move out of the way. Not the M3, the Tesla wheel. And it's funny, I can see in the car, I can see myself in the car. So here, let's see what happened here. Um, if this car stopped early, I don't see any reason why it would have stopped unless it thinks the car here is an obstruction. So let me try and see if it'll, I'll initiate, and maybe it lost connection, I'll initiate it again, move out of the way. See if it moves more. Well, you know, it's growing pains. Um, the time I tried it before, it worked mm -hmm. flawlessly. Um, I don't know if maybe when I was trying to point out that I can see myself in the screen, it might have thought I was an obstruction or who knows the software but anyway that's how it works um really simple once it's set up there's nothing else to do and that's it thanks for watching this video look out for more and hit the referral code use the referral code if uh if you're looking to buy one of these beauties bye